Hi everybody, welcome back to Bearded Reef. In this video, we're going to take a look at the sump system for my Marine X 60.2. Okay, hi everybody, like I said there, um, welcome back to Bearded Reef. My name's Ross, and this video we're going to take a look at the little sump system for the Marine X 60.2. Now, I've never had a sump before in any of my tanks. This is the first tank that I've had that's had a sump. Um, quite looking forward to it, actually. I think it'll be quite an interesting one. Um, I know a lot of you guys will be sitting there going, it's only a sump, what are you bothered about? But for me, it's the first one I've ever had with a sump. So, quite looking forward to seeing how it all works anyway. So, we'll get the sump out, we'll have a look at it, we'll see what comes with the kit. Um, I have no idea, I haven't opened the box yet. So, we'll get it lifted up. I'll sit it on top of the stand here, we'll get everything taken out, see what's what, and we'll go from there. Okay, so just quickly, this is the box that the sump comes in. Um, it actually comes inside the main display tank, so when you get it delivered, it'll come in the pallet, you'll have your separate box with the cabinet, flat packed, you need to build that to the previous videos for that one. Inside the main tank, you'll have this box here, which I'm assuming is the sump, must be the sump. I haven't opened this yet, so we'll get it open, we'll take a look and we'll see what's inside. Okay, so I have just burst the packaging open here. We'll take a look inside and see what we have. Okay, so this has been sitting in my garage for a bit, so it's a bit kind of steamy on there, but it seems to be on its side. Yeah, so the sump comes on its side there by the looks of things. Not quite what I was expecting, but yeah, on its side. So I'm going to lift this out, um, I'll sit on the table properly and we'll get a look at it. Okay, so that's the sump out of the box now. It was a complete nightmare to get out of the box. Tried to lift it out in one piece, um, wasn't going to happen. So I ended up having to rip the box open to bits, get it out, take the box away and sit it up there. So not the easiest of things to get out of the box, um, but it's out now anyway and it's up on top. So I've just sat it up here so you guys can see it. Obviously, if something goes down below, it's not going to sit up there. Now, it's quite funny because this sump's actually bigger than what my Peninsula tank is. So it just gives me a bit of perspective into kind of the upgrade. You know, when you look at it, sometimes you go, it's not that big a tank. But the sump's bigger than my peninsula is, so yeah, um, really a nice sump. The up to white, up to clear glass again. Sorry, um, actually I think they call it Starfire glass. I'm sure. Anyway, um, crystal clear glass. So yeah, we'll take a look at what comes with this and see what's there. So first things first, um, in this box, which is something stuck to. Let's take that off of there. So this box here is the um, it's actually the glass overflow lid for the main tank so this isn't for the sump but that's the kind of little glass overflow lid so we'll cover that when it comes to the main tank part uh, i'm pretty sure it's etched with the water box logo and so on it's got a little cut out for your light so um cool little thing but yeah we'll cover that in the, the kind of main tank video this one's just about the sump um a little sock silencer i'll cover that in a second there is the return nozzles for the main tank now again we'll cover these properly but they do give you a random flow generator and a duck bill for both sides there's a reason for that i'll cover that in the video for the tank um and the other thing they give you in here is filter sock now this is a 225 micron felt filter sock and it's a four inch one um you can do what you want with these but this is going in the bin i don't use filter socks i hate them i think they're terrible they clog up, they're just, I don't like them at all. You can't wash them easily, they're just horrible. So, the filter sock and the silencer, bin. No use for them whatsoever. What I do have a use for though, is this bad boy. So I got this, it's a 3D printed filter floss cup. I got this from Acroprint UK, um, so a massive shout out to them for, for this one. But yeah, 3D printed filter floss cup. Now all I do is fill this with filter floss every couple of days, whenever it needs it. Take the filter floss out, bin it, put some more in. It's so much easier, so much cheaper to do that. So that will just sit in there, like so. Perfect. So that's the first modification, if you want to call it that. Um, let's see what else is in here. So I've got this product manual. I'm assuming it's just a load of information, really. 
yeah, so it's telling you what's kind of included. So 60.2 there, so I'll just look at this and quickly show you guys if this thing will settle down, but yeah. So just a quick overview of what's really included with the kit, where everything goes and what's there, so yeah. Um, handy, I'll have a look at it anyway. And I think the last thing is this here, which I don't know the proper name for this, but I think it's called a bubble guard. It basically stops any of the micro bubbles going over and back into your turn pump and therefore into your tank. So it's quite a solid bit of foam as such, and it goes in that middle kind of section there before the return pump. So yeah, um, that's really it. Water will flow in there, come back up through the filter sock, down into the main skimmer chamber. I have got this from Aquaprint UK again. Now this is their biomedia holder for the bio balls. Quite a cool little design on this. So these actually come almost flat packed as such. And um, you just make it up yourself to suit. So as you can see there, I took that one out. It comes with a little post. So these all come as individual posts. You just feed it in the hole there like that and screw it in. So you'll see it's got a little thread on the bottom there and you can just screw them in. Fantastic idea. So I've used a little bio ball holder in my other tank. So in this one, I went for this one as well. So that will sit somewhere in here. And also my skimmer reactor and everything's going to go in there. But we'll cover that in another video. This is mainly just to show you guys the sump. So this is the sump as it kind of is out of the box. I am going to make one probably decent change to it, which will be this. I'm going to wrap the sump with this white vinyl. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the base. I am definitely going to do the two sides and the back. I don't know if I'm going to do the base. Now, that's purely on the fact that it's already got a mat glued to the bottom of this sump. I don't know if I want to peel the mat off and go through the hassle of trying to get the glue off and everything to wrap it white to then put another mat on the bottom. I think I might just leave it as it is. I could end up regretting that, I don't know, but I'm definitely going to be wrapping the sides in the back. Now it's a black sump in a black cabinet. I don't want to be missing things, so I'm going to wrap it and we'll see how it looks. So we'll all do that, I'll show you that in the video and see how it looks afterwards. So yeah, that's really where we're at the sump at this point. So we'll move on and see how we get on. Okay, so this is the sump now that it's wrapped. I um, must apologise, I didn't actually take any video of me wrapping the sump. So all it is, is it's actually on the outside of the glass. It's not on the inside, it's on the outside. And it's just some white vinyl that I got from Amazon. Um, this is it here actually, so. Just a kind of roll of white vinyl, very simple. Um, all I've done, stuck it on the outside. So I actually done the back first. Stuck it on the back first. Um, Trimmed the sides down with a razor blade and then put it on the sides here, done the same thing, trimmed out with a razor blade as well. So it's it's a really, really nice fit on that. Um, works really well. I'll put a link to this vinyl um, it's from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description so that if you are wanting to get some, you can get some and wrap your own sump. But I just think it makes it look a lot neater and it'll be much easier to clean it as well. So, yeah, I think it looks really good, to be honest. But there's one more final thing that I'm going to show you that I've done here that I think um, you might like. So... We'll move on and I'll show you that. Okay, so this is the kind of final modifications on the sump. Well, technically not the sump, it's more the cabinet. But obviously the door's still to go on here. So when the door goes on, you'll open it up. Now this is quite dark inside here. So what I've done is I've added a motion detector light inside here. So if I just move my foot closer to the cabinet here, you see the light comes on. Now I think you'll agree that's much better with a light inside there. Shines down the sump. Now it's a very, very simple little LED light. Um, it's actually a rechargeable one, so rechargeable light, um, comes a pack of two this one, again I'll link it in the description if you want, but it comes with a little sticky back magnetic strip here, so all you do is just take it off of there, and that's it there, simple little LED light with a motion sensor on it, a magnetic backing on it there, so you can stick it to anything, and if I shine that in here you'll see I just stuck the magnetic strip on there, so it's just a case of putting that back in there, once it's charged and back in it goes. Now it's on a motion sensor, lasts for about 15 seconds. Once it detects no motion, it'll switch back off again. So if I don't move just now and show you that, it'll switch back off. But yeah, I'll link these in the description. They're not that expensive. They're relatively cheap, actually. I've put one in this tank and I've put one in another tank. So you can see that that's it off. Yeah, again, if I move, there it's on. So 
I think that's quite a good thing. Um, so yeah, that's really where we're at with the sump just now. Um, I think the next video I'll do, I'll get the plumbing in this and get things set up with a new tank on top. I will show you the light in the Peninsula Mini, the original one. I've put one in the cabinet for that as well, so I'll show you that quickly just now. Okay, so this is the Peninsula Mini. Um, no point in me showing you the tank with the actual lighting on, but same thing, cabinet here that I've got. This was the cabinet I got from Nick at Aquarium Cabinet Solutions. Um, custom made cabinet, so to my knowledge you don't get any cabinets for the Peninsula Mini 15 gallon, but Nick managed to make this, make this one for me, sorry. So really nice little cabinet actually, but again, what I've done inside here, when you open that, the light comes on. So yeah, I think that's quite a nice little touch. Exactly the same thing again with a magnetic strip on it. Stuck it inside there. Um, and yeah, that's the cabinet from Finish the Mini 15. So lights are a really good wee thing, I think. Um, again, you can put your hand in, bring the light on if you want, but yeah, it goes off after about 15 seconds with no movement. So really happy with that one. So yeah, I think that's probably us for this video. Um, I don't really think there's any need to go over anything else. Like I say, the next video will probably be the plumbing side of things. So we'll take a look at that and see how we get on. Um, but I just want to say a massive thank you again for watching this video. Hopefully it's the kind of things you guys liked. I know you said you wanted more in de detail or in-depth videos. So I'm just showing you this stuff and hopefully it's something that you guys can enjoy. So yeah, we'll see you next week for the next video, folks. Um, hope you're all doing well. Hope you're staying safe out there. Take care. Bye-bye.